All right, welcome to this problem. In this problem, we're dealing with uh, two identical boxes that are attached with a rope, and they are pulled by a constant force of 200 newtons at a constant velocity. What is the tension in the rope between them? So I have the green box here, I have the red box here, and they're both going to have the same mass, whatever that is, okay? So they're just going to have some mass m, some mass m like this, they're identical. And I have a rope here, okay? This is, this is, this is a rope, okay? and it's going to create a tension. It's a massless rope, but it's going to create a tension. And I have a force applied here, and my force applied here is going to be 200 newtons. Okay, so what is the force in this rope? Well, you might be tempted to say, well, you know, that force has to be just 200 because, you know, just because it is, and that's just how it looks. But it's really, it's not 200. We have to make a few assumptions here. So let's begin by cloning this diagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up real quick. I'm going to break this up into an exploded free body diagram. What we have here is I have a tension that's going to appear like this. So each direction here the tension is going to pull in opposite directions, equal and opposite. So that's the force of tension here and that's the force of tension here. Now one of the key things about this problem is it said the force applied is 200 newtons but it's moving at a constant velocity. So if this was on a slick surface or there was no friction, that would be accelerating, right? That would be getting faster and faster, but it's not. It's moving at a constant velocity. So that means there has to be friction moving against the object here. So I have a force of friction here. Let me move this floor down here. Let me just get rid of that floor. I have a force of friction here, like this, against it here and have a force of friction against it here. Now are, are those force of frictions similar? Are they the same? How do you know if they're similar or they're the same? Well, the definition of the force of friction, if you just remember over here, is going to be mu times the normal, right? And in this case, the normal is just going to be mg. So the force of friction is going to be mu mg, okay? And so what does that mean? Well, they have the same mass, right? So that means the force of friction on the first one equals the force of friction on the second one. So they're just the same force of friction. Okay, so that's, I just wanted to establish that point first. These two frictions are identical. But let's look at our two free body diagrams. Well, we have a case of statics, so I'm going to do each one in a different color. I'm going to start out here on the green side. I'm going to say the sum of the forces in the x equals zero. So whatever's on the left equals whatever's on the right. So the force of friction here equals the force of tension. Okay. So that's important because that's telling us that on this diagram the force of friction equals tension and the tensions are the same between these two. If I take a look on the right side, if I say the sum of the forces in the x equals zero here because it's constant velocity, I say whatever's on the left has to equal whatever's on the right. So what's on the left? Well, I say the force of tension plus the force of friction, right? That's what's on the left. It's balanced out, right? Equals force applied, right? So this is where we start to do some pretty quick substitution here. I know the force applied is what? Force applied, they told us, is 200. Okay, And I know from this equation that the tension equals the force of friction, right? The tension equals the force of friction, right? So I can basically take this example right here, this force of tension here, and that just equals this force of friction. So when I do that, I end up saying the force of tension plus the force of tension, right, they're just, it's the same thing, friction is the tension, equals 200. So two times the force of tension equals 200 newtons. So the force of tension in this case is going to be 100 newtons, okay, you just divide the two over, or exactly one half of the applied force. So this was a little bit tricky because Again, there's no net acceleration, and we had to understand that the two frictional forces were equal. But once we do that, we, we can clearly see that the tension between them is exactly one half of the force applied, and it's just 100 newtons shared between these two ropes. All right, that's all I've got for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.